Hello, welcome to Have A Go, and I'm Alan. Today we're going to see if we can make a start on casting the faceplate. We'll be casting on a mandrel again, and with all the trouble I have with mandrel sticking, I'm going to try what Gingery actually advises to do, and see if I can yeah, put some soot around it before I put it in. So I'm going to try Gingery's suggestion and put soot on the end yeah, before I put it in the mould. The theory being the soot will help it yeah, come loose when, after I finish the casting. The background noise is the old band headstock being cut up for scrap. some wheat wires in In a perfect world the mandrel will be going through the pattern to keep it at right angles but I'm using a different sized spindle to the book so the pattern that I printed is not quite right. Can anyone see the problem? Well, I never claim to be a smart man. Right, I'm going to roll that. This should be the right way up this time. Now let's try that again. There's an added complication for this in that the mandrel has to be at 90 degrees to the face plate. Early days, but I'm not optimistic. I'd normally wait for it to cool down, but I'm hoping that this way the metal will still be a bit expanded from being hot. I really hope I don't have to draw this thing out. I think I need to rethink how I'm doing this. Plan D for drill. Now that I've done that, I really, really, really hope I can get that out again. <sighs> According to the book, that should have been relatively easy. Like hell. It should give me a bore that a 20mm shaft will just slide onto. Like hell. If I seem non-verbal, it's because I'm getting increasingly annoyed with all this. Still don't like this tap handle. 
but there are times when it is exactly what I need to use. Alright, M6 cores. At some point I'm going to have to tank up on more of these things. why this was flexing. This screw here holding the cross slide ways had come loose. I'm just going to try my hand at grinding a lathe tool. One specifically for aluminium. So the relief is 12 degrees recommended for aluminium. It's barely visible. Side rake recommended is 16. As per usual, I don't know what I'm doing. Thirty-five back crack. According to the box, this can cause cancer if you live in California. So I'm going to be very careful not to lick it. Do I know what I'm doing? Not in the slightest. I think that did something, I'm not sure what. This is quarter inch. It's same size as those other ones, why isn't it fitting? Scrapping this entirely, starting again with another faceplate casting because this is not working. Or if it is, the faceplate is going to be bloody tissue thin. The cutter I ground is working beautifully though, so that's something. I'm getting a very smooth finish about here ish. Not sure how this part happened. Probably when I was trying to getting a bit too aggressive, I think. That's a road plan then. Next weekend I'll cast another face plate. And rather than cast on the mandrel, I think I'll just cast this solid across here. Make this flat on the belt sander to get myself started. And then once I have got this flat, I'll lay this surface down flat on on the surface of the table of the drill press and then drill the hole perpendicular because even after the blasted thing I still had to drill that, that out anyway I didn't get the right bore so I think that's what we'll do a bit late in the day to be casting now so it'll have to wait till next weekend or my next day off Whichever happens. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.